Fellow Spartans, welcome to the historical Battle of Hastings on Medieval 2 Total War. And of course, this is the continuation of my Footsteps of Heroes series. And I thought I'd come back to Medieval 2 today because this weekend we are celebrating 15 years of Total War. And so Creative Assembly have allowed on Steam a number of their titles, including this one, to be played for absolutely nothing at all. They are completely free to play. So if you haven't played one of these games before and you want to do so, go on Steam, download it and it will cost you nothing to do so. And then at that point, if you've played and you think, actually, I really do enjoy this game, I think um, up until Monday evening, you can then purchase these titles for up to 75% off. So they're really, really cheap to buy if you want to play them permanently. So go on there and buy them on Steam after this weekend if you want to do so. And as I say, it'll cost you hardly anything at all to do so. So let's fight this battle. This is the year 1066 AD. We are, we are playing, I believe, as William the Conqueror, Duke of Normandy, and we are going to be facing against the Saxons and King Harold himself. So let's start the battle and let's get into this now. October the 14th, 1066, Caldbeck Hill, north of Hastings in England. This land is ruled by King Harold Godwinson, the latest in a line of Anglo-Saxon kings. But Duke William of Normandy has a claim to the throne too. Years ago, Harold is said to have sworn to help the Duke to the throne of England, but he has failed to honor his oath, and now he rules as king. But the throne on which Harold sits is not a comfortable one, and Duke William's invasion is fortunately timed. Even now, Harold marches south from battle at Stamford Bridge near York, having crushed another invasion led by Harold Hardrada of Norway. Duke William was able to land unopposed, but now his scouts report that Harold's army is in sight and has formed a shield wall on a ridge crossing the Normans' road. The position is a strong one, at the top of a gentle slope flanked by marshy ground, and the enemy appear happy to let the Normans come to them. The Duke has come well prepared for battle, and has many war-hardened infantry and horsemen. But if his men cannot overcome the enemy shield wall, they will have little choice but to negotiate terms or starve. Duke William of Normandy is no stranger to war, though. He knows that if there is no way around or through Harold's shield wall, he will have to find a way to pick it apart. The Anglo-Saxons are known for their fearlessness in battle, but perhaps William can use this to lure them from their position so that his horsemen can finish them off. The two forces are evenly balanced, but there are only two paths from this place for Duke William, to the grave or through the shield wall and onwards to the throne of England. Ah, yes indeed, the throne of England. Wonderful. Let's see if we can achieve victory then today. The Huskars on the enemy flanks are commanded by Harold's brothers. Killing them will disrupt yeah. our enemy's command structure. Absolutely. Launch an assault against them and cut them right. down. Right. As the advisor just said, absolutely. We need to do this. Pick away at their two flanks because the two brothers there, if they get killed, then the less disciplined men will try and probably hopefully charge off the hillside if we bait them enough to do that and then we can pick away at those units and then eventually that should allow us to break down their formidable spear wall that they've got in place but uh, the Saxons you know they are not up for this battle really they are fatigued they are very very tired man they've marched south from the Battle of Stamford Bridge against the Kingdom of Norway so they are not fresh for this battle at all Whereas the Normans, whereas the Normans, they are, they've only recently landed in the south coast of Britain at Pevensey. So they are really up for this battle. They probably want it more, you know, they are trying to claim the, the throne of England here. So this is all on this battle for them. So, uh, yeah, it's you know, a lot of stakes here. The stakes are very high, in fact. 
So we're trying to... Oh, wonderful. Great stuff. We've already taken the brother on the right-hand side down. And we've already sort of weakened that, that unit of Haskells there. So that's a good start. Well done. So what we'll do now is bring this these four units of archers back. And, yeah, pull them back now behind the uh, infantry line. And then we'll get a unit of cav to go in for a charge then and see if they can, as I say, cause some of the units to pull away from the hillside there. Hopefully. Here we go. Full on charge. Oh, can I mean to pause it? Left, then retreat to okay. Them to give Try and pull them back now. Try and retreat before the route. Oh, no. They, oh, damn it. They've routed already before I could pull them back. However, they've done their job, though, because look at that. Four or five units are coming across now to give chase to that routing unit of cavalry. So, hopefully, in a second, they will rally together. And when we get control of them again, hopefully, in a minute, we can then pull them across behind our line of uh, spear infantry then. Come on. Come on. Let me gain control of them again. Please, please, please. Yes, we've got them. We've got them. Right, let's get them over, put them across here. But as I say, they've done the job. I think four or five units, of, even six or seven actually, are coming off the hillside now to try and uh, give chase to that cavalry unit. But uh, it's, it's not going to be too late. So we've got here, we've got Thanes, peasants. They're the weak units. They're the ones we do need to go for because if we get those peasants down, they will be, um, what's it, very easy to... Uh, waiver so we're going to pull a unit across of armored sergeants from the center to the right because we obviously need to support that flank and then put that unit on the left from the left then to cover the center now we'll pull these units of mailed knights across because they're going to try and get behind and try and flank them hopefully now come on engage men hold that line there keep those things at bay Looks like they're trying to go for my cavalry again. They are gunning for my cavalry, but these guys are peasants, so we should be able to take these down in a second. But we're not ready yet. We need to put them away. Oh god, they're, they're already they're already wavering. The by the Almighty, Even when we haven't fought them. It's pretty bad this. how bad these peasants are then. But the Thanes won't, they will go on for a lot longer, so we need to pull the pull these cavalry units across to the left hand side, try to bait the enemy to keep chasing me down, tie them out. At the same time, in a second, while they're coming across the field now from the from the rear, we'll get all these armoured sergeants to realign and then try and intercept them as they come across to try and get my cavalry. Peasants are gone. They are absolutely routed without probably, without hardly any um, engagement, which is quite surprising. So the Thanes, here we go. Come on, units. Come on, armoured spear. We need to get across there now. Armoured sergeant, sorry. Get across our now, intercept those units and then we can pick away at them and because if we can hold them down with our armoured sergeants then we can then get these units of cav on the left to then sweep around and flank them from the rear at that point but we need to intercept them now with the armoured sergeants. Here we go. God, they've come in. They really charged me there. Some units have got through though. A couple of units of Thanes are going to try and slip through the net to go straight for my cavalry again. They are gunning for my cav, aren't they? He really want them taken down. Let's try and feint a charge here. Try and bait them to come across again. They are, I think they've taken it. So we'll get this unit of armoured sergeants to come across now to intercept them again. Oh, start running. Come on, come on, come on, get out of there. These three units can go around the back of those units of spear now and try and charge them from the rear. Here we go. This should be good if we can get around the back of these things. We can give them a direct charge at that point. Okay, pull that unit of cav out now. They've done their job. Okay, here we go. Let's go for an absolute almighty charge here in the rear. This should shot them into uh, retreating. It has. One unit's already wavering. Another one's gone. Panic is setting over there. So it looks like all three will go in a second, hopefully. That unit's gone as well up there. Fantastic, so we'll pull away over that to the left hand side again to mop up the remaining units. It looks like one unit or two units are going to fight to the death. Oh, 
Okay, they're wavering, they're gone. Fantastic. So the cavalry over here. So, here we go. Go, 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 go. Right, they should now, we've got to pin down again here. We've got that right hand side. Yes, we can really hit them hard on that right flank and that's immediately caused them to route and break. So they're being pushed away from the battlefield now. Well played, cavalry, good charge there. If you get the momentum with this cavalry, they really do smash into the enemy lines pretty quickly. So that's good. Okay, those mailed knights have done their job so we can... No enemy around now, they're all routed, so we'll pull them across over there. Okay. Okay, what we need to do now, technically, is reform the lines again. Because we're going to try and bait the enemy off again to get a few of their units to come off the hillside once more. And then chip away at those units as well. It may be that it will just cause a mass charge to happen, but we'll see what we can do. So again, two on the left in the centre. I know some of these units have already lost a lot of men but we need to just reform that discipline line again. Okay, I see armor sergeants done. Let's have a look at the cav. Okay, right. Paul William the Conqueror back actually as well. Now these archers need to go forward again. They need to start firing on the left hand side at those house girls over there and try and take uh, down the other brother of Harold's. If they can, please. Okay, here we go. Right, militia. Let's do your job. So, yeah, look at that. Percentage killed of enemy, 28%. They've killed 15% of ours. So, it's evenly matched still. Obviously, they came to the battle with more men than we had. So we need to be killing, at this stage, a lot more of the enemy than they're killing of us. So let's carry on that trend. Okay, come on, let's get up that hill as quickly as we can. Okay, come on guys, let's get into position here. Give them a volley. And to fast forward for a second. Breaking down bit by bit. We're under okay. Come on, hopefully now we should get them to... Uh, we'll kill the enemy brother, that's at least what you should be able to do now. Don't know whereabouts he is in the line there, but he seems to be hanging on. Right, well we've, break, we've taken down a lot of them, they're down to 35, so even if the brother's not being killed, what we'll do is we'll start to pick away at some of these... Uh, units in the front lines here. Try and get these stains down. Because we'll go for a cavalry charge in a second again. On the left hand side. So let's, we may as well go for these centre units to try and break them down a little bit so they're weakened. So when they do charge down the hill, if they do, they are weakened to start with. Oh, we've got a unit of Huskills here as well. Huskills, sorry. Huskals, there we go. Gotta can't pronounce it. Huskals. They should go in a second if we keep hitting them. Well, no, they won't, they won't wave it, but at least they'll drop some numbers. Yeah, all go for those husk girls, actually. Before they run out of ammunition, which they are starting to do now. Good stuff, Archie, you've done your job there, so we'll pull them back now. We may use them in a little bit to support the infantry lines, if we need to. But we're in the Conquer Ford as well. So, yeah, we're in a position now to use a unit of cav. We won't go for no, actually no, we won't go for them because they're quite uh, a full unit. We don't want to waste them, so we'll go for this unit of 19. See if they can do anything. Just trying to try and need to bait them off the hill now. Again, come on, let's get a full-on charge there. Bang! Definitely have momentum with that one. See if we can pull them back again. Ah, oh, they're wavering already, so they've been good, but I don't think they've actually brought anyone off the hillside, which is a bad. Okay, well, let's go 
for a unit of armoured sergeants with two units of archer militia to see if they can uh, do anything. All oh, these guys are coming back, these Thanes, these, these guys have rallied, have they? Okay, we need to keep going for it here. You can't give up this charge. Hopefully this will bait them into coming off now. This will be enough to tempt them. Here we go. Looks like they're coming across this time. Come on, I want to get everyone off the hill. Come on, come on, charge. God damn it. No, they're not taking it, are they? are not taking the bait here. Well, we'll go for another charge in a second, I think. Oh, keep pausing it here. Well, let's pause this. I will pause, actually. Let's pull this unit of calf back. And then they can go into that line of armoured sergeants there. We should be able to deal with them in a second. So that gives us a time enough to go back in again for another charge. And hopefully this time it'll be enough to tempt them off the hillside. Come on, guys. Only intervention by the Here we go. Or a right. Can bring Let's a slow the pace down this. a second. Let's pull these armoured sergeants back if we can. That unit of Thanes have wavered over there, which is good, so we're now ready to take the full brunt of the Saxon army now. What we're going to do is get all the mailed knights to go onto that left-hand flank so they can start to manoeuvre around the side of the enemy. Warring the Conqueror will stay in the centre to rally his men, try and get these armoured sergeants back. I think they're just engaged too much in battle at the moment. I think they need to stay there. They're not going to come back. To kill or to die are our only choices. Indeed. Well, let's get the cavalry across now. Let's see what they can do in a minute. Let's wait for everyone to engage first into those lines. Let's get the let's get the archers in there as well to su provide a bit of support. Get these two units of our sergeants to go around the side and flank. Right, cav. Now's your time. Move across. Rally the men as well, keep them going. Come on, chance, move, 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 move. Gotta go, we've gotta go now. Okay. Things are going down, hopefully. We can just try and overwhelm them on that left hand side there, that's the big thing. Don't know where. Oh, King Howell's over there, I think. I think. Put him, pull the cavalry back, though, because we don't want to get him bogged down with those spears there. That's the last thing we want to do. So we're, we're holding our own still. We're not wavering yet. We're keeping discipline. Those lines are holding for as long as we can, which is a good thing. There he is. Yeah, King Howell is there. Go, go, go. He's being exposed. He's isolated there. We've, our armoured sergeants have kept him back from, the, from his other men, so he's actually on his own there. Let's see if we can take him down. Fact, let's, right, let's go again. We form the cavalry line here. Because if we can try and get it on that hill up there, form up there, and then we can have the momentum of the, the slope to again really hit the charge. Hopefully. Come on. Well, unfortunately, the armoured sergeants can't hold for much longer, so we're going to have to get the cavalry to go down. Now, we come to the unit of cav. Go, 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 go. Lord have mercy. Let's get the archers in there as well. Come on, if we take him down, it's, it's catastrophe for the enemy then at that point. They will mass out. Oh, that's not bad. We've taken a few of them down, actually. 35 men remaining. Let's pull back again, reform for another charge here. That was quite an effective initial charge. If we can do that again, that should really question King Howell's integrity. If he can hold the line then at that point, or hold his units together, because he could die in his charge in a second. Let's go for it one more time. Get the momentum of the hill. Here we go. 29 men remain. 27, 25. King yes! Insane. That's a it! Enemy, but no. for the moment, the Get in. Goes right, away. so that's caused mass panic across the lines of the enemy. But the Huskarls will stop. They will fight on. The they will fight on. They won't give up yet. So we're going to take them down. Many of his men flee before us. The Huskals, though, are honoring their yeah. oaths to their king and they fight So we need to make sure we've the taken them down. Give them because the they won't they won't they, they won't rout yet. They will fight on to the death. Let's bring newly, hopefully soon, 
UD Warrior, King Warrior and the Conqueror cross to finish off the King's unit there. Only 11 men remain in that unit now. They're all broken, they're running for their lives now, but the Huskals, they will fight on. Look at this, disciplined men. There is, there is King Warrior and the Conqueror there at the back. Look at that, very close to the possession of enemy kill to our units killed, but of course the mass routing has occurred now, the king is dead, word has got through the army there that he's died, panic has set in, it's all over in a second. So all these units back from the hillside who've been given chase of those routing men to finish off these three units now. Taken down the king's unit now, they've gone completely. One more man left and that one he's gone and then these how many are left are here? Six men, so we should finish off these with a cavalry charge. Come on, let's, let's end the battle now with a victory. One more man remaining, or three more men, sorry. Surely that's it, yes! Thank you! Wonderful stuff. Excellent, so there you go, victory at the Battle of Hastings for William the Conqueror. An average victory, well I'll take that because that was probably one of the hardest historical battles I've ever done. That was really hard to play. Um, and let's have a quick look and see who our highest unit was to inflict casualties upon the enemy. It was a unit of armoured sergeants, so fantastic. Well there you go ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this historical battle today on Medieval 2. As I say, this was in honour of the 15 years of Total War anniversary we've had over the weekend. So if you want to play any of those games, including this one, for free, just for this weekend, go on the Steam store and you can play them right now. But until next time, this is Warrior Spotter for now saying farewell.